Hey guys, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, and hello if you've never been uh, here before. This is my uh, little corner of YouTube uh, where I share patterns and I've just started doing a couple of uh, unboxing videos so this is what I've got for you today. Uh, we have my first hobby order. It's a company from Denmark. Uh, a few people have suggested that I uh, try the website out so I went on and found some really good deals. Uh, at the moment, uh, they are having a Black Friday week, uh, which I kind of have another order on the way. So yeah, I'm quite excited for that. Um, I ordered this late on last Sunday, and it's now Saturday, so it's taken just less than a week to get here. So the package it comes in a bag, as you can see. There's nothing wrong, no tears, no rips, so I'm happy with that. So let's uh, get it open, shall we? So excited. I hope you're all uh, having a good day wherever you are in the world. Ooh, pretty. Right, I'm going to get the packing slip first. Uh, that's not a packing slip, that's a packing slip. Wow. So, uh, in total, I spent about 50. It didn't actually tell me how much I spent on it, but I, I know this one was, everything in this bag was uh, 59.50 because it was uh, free shipping if you spent 59, so I remember putting just a little small something in there just to uh, get that shipping. So, we have, well, let's just pull something out, shall we? We have this. Wow, that's so pretty, that's so nice. This one is a uh, called Cookie. It is, uh, let's have a look. It's 100% acrylic. Uh, it has, it's 200 grams and it's 600 meters. It, don't, uh, it don't, do, doesn't uh, give you yard, yardage on this one. And it's, it's very, it's actually very similar to uh, Lion Brand Ferris Wheel, which I've just uh, used a couple of weeks ago. So it's a ro roving type yarn, sort of, you know, if you can see there. But it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning, it's so soft. Could just uh, use it as a pillow. <laughs> so I have one of those, uh, what colour is this sitting? I'm just having a look at the pack package slip. It's in the colour uh, mustard. Oh. Fitting. <laughs> and then I have another one. Uh, which I've just seen next to it. Uh, this one is, wow. Look at that. Uh, this one again uh, is the same. It's a 200 gram cake. Uh, it is 600 meters. It says it's a, a, a knitting needle size of uh, five, but I, I would probably use a four with this. Four or 3.5 maybe, depending on what we're making. Uh, washing instructions, 40 degree wash, don't iron, don't tumble dry and lie flat. But I pretty much take that as a standard with no matter what it is. Uh, if it's natural fibre like wool or cotton, then obviously not a, a, such a high wash on that. Well, I can see more, thing, more things here. So the next on my list is we have, let's have a look. Some more cakes. These are slightly smaller. Uh, it's a, a different, differently spun yarn, uh, which is nice. Uh, it's Hobby uh, Hurricane, 200 grams, which is uh, 350 meters. Uh, hook, si hook or needle size number four. Uh, it's made in Turkey, and the color is. Let's have a look. Called Tiger. Wow! Look at this. Again, it's really soft, really squishy. I've got no projects in mind for these. Uh, I just saw them on the website and go, right, I have to have these. They were on sale at the time. So, naturally, I bought two. two. Two of the same in case I want to make a slightly bigger project or two smaller ones matching. Then I have, what's this? Small ball of cotton. Uh, this one is Stonewash, uh, rainbow, 100% printed cotton. Uh, 
50 grams, it's uh, approximately 186 yards and I'm guessing this is maybe a number two weight so it is, it is very fine. I've got two strands now, let's uh, pick one up. So yeah, this this will just probably leave in my stash until I find a use for it. Then the next I have is, this is about, I can't tell you what price it is. Uh, it's Jiper, uh, it's called Jiper, it's 100% acrylic and look how pretty this is. This uh, feels very similar and looks very similar to one I bought from Amazon uh, a couple of weeks ago which was by Signet Yarns. Uh, so very, very similar, feels exactly the same. Uh, yeah, so this is by World of Yarn, it's 100% acrylic. Uh, it's a number three weight, so it's like a light, uh, like a light DK weight yarn. Uh, 30 degree wash, dirt iron, dirt tumble dry, live flat. Don't dry clean it, obviously. Uh, the colourway is called Party. But it's spelled a little different. And it is made in Turkey. So I have two of these. Quite, quite liking my DK projects at the moment. Uh, ooh. Right, next we have some Maya. This is 100% a, a wool. It's a 50 gram bowl. Guessing at it, uh, yep. It's hundred percent wool, and it is a number four weight yarn. Uh, hand wash only, don't tumble dry, live flat, and the colour is number five oh nine. Now, these ones on the hobby website, uh, I have a couple of different uh, shades that are actually being discontinued. Uh, I just thought I'd add that one. Uh, that's why they're going cheap. It's a roving spun type yarn. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to work up really nice. So I got it in. I'm guessing, yeah, two two of the same colour. I'll just open this up so you can see a little bit more. So this is going to make um, oh, a couple uh, a couple of really nice beanies or a really nice uh, I don't know um, a bit of a scarf maybe some fingerless gloves even and a beanie. No idea what I'm making yet. And then I got another one in a different colour, which is here. That's lovely, and it's uh, really soft as well. Uh, I thought we were going to be a, a, a bit rougher than this. It's quite, it's quite well spun, as you can see. So it's not like uh, it's not like really big and fluffy. What you feel like it's just going to come apart. Uh, so yeah, lovely. So I'm really happy with uh, these items so far. Absolutely gorgeous. Next on my list, we have these little balls of. Uh, I'm guessing these are 100% acrylic. Yep, yeah, 100% premium acrylic. It's in like a really nice rainbow colour. So again, these are probably going to be beanies or I might make a, like a small wrap with them. Uh, I have three. Voila. It's a... It's a 145 metres on each uh, ball. 30 degree wash. Oh, you can, you can tumble dry this one on coal. Uh, fabulous, even better. Uh, and it, do, it doesn't really give many details on what it actually, uh, any more information. It is a uh, Mayflower DK, uh, Hawaii, and the colour number 10. So let's just see if, see if I can find this here. Oh, on here it says uh, Nectarine. Eh, don't really get Nectarine from that, but hey, whatever, whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, I've got a little free sweet in here. I'll eat that later. Right, I have two more, two more in my bag, and my bag's empty until my next order comes in, which is fine. Uh, so on this one, we have it's called Malaga Print, and look at that—it's gorgeous. It's really soft as well uh, for acrylic. Uh, so yeah, Malaga Print by World of Yarn. It's 100% premium acrylic. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be uh, quite a slow transition yarn. So yeah, gorgeous. So I got uh, two of these in uh, two different colours. So I got one colour of each. Uh, for a hook size, five to six millimetre. I'll ag I'll agree with that. You have two strands there. 
uh, it is a number four medium weight yarn. Yeah, 40 degree wash. 40, wow. You can tumble dry it. Uh, the colour is, uh, just looking at the packing slip here. Uh, I'm guessing it is, do, 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 do. Uh, it's called Rose Garden. Wow, what a pr pretty name and a pretty colour. And then the second one I got is, it's got uh, like shades of red, gold, some some pinks in there, some dark purples uh, towards the middle. Wow, that's really nice. That's going to make a really nice uh, scarf or um, like a like a wrap or something. So this one is in the colour Flamenco, uh, which is shade number 08. Uh, it's a centre pull roll as well, or you can take it from the outside. Uh, it's World of Yarn again on these ones, but it's uh, 165 metres or 180 yards. So, yeah, if you, if you want to make yourself a nice scarf or something, one of these should be enough to do it. And that's that's all I have on um, with yarn. And then this also came uh, in my package, which which is another item I paid for. It's just not yarn. It is a crochet hook. Oh, I didn't order that though. Oh, nice people at Hobby sent me a little uh, darning needle. You can never have too many of these because uh, if it's anything like my stitch markers, they disappear like pens in an office. Right, come a bit closer for this one. My next one is a crochet hook. So I have quite a few hooks anyway, but these ones look very really nice. I do struggle a bit with my hands uh, because I spend a lot of hours crocheting. So basically, um, I like to try different ergonomic cro crochet hooks just to see which ones I like. So it says it's an optimi optimised hook, which means it has more uh, space behind your hook to fit yarn. Uh, is, um, the one I got is a 4mm because I do quite a lot of DK projects at the moment. So I like to use number 4 if I'm making, uh, making like a sweater like uh, this one, which I, I have a video for on, uh, on my channel. My favourite one. I'm going to wear this to death. So, back to the hook. It's by, uh, I'm guessing Prime, P-R-Y-M. So, yeah, it's a different spelling. Uh, it's Ergonomics, uh, number four. And it's got about 100 different languages on the back. It says, it's super smooth, matte at the same time. Grips easy, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so yeah, let's just get it open. Nice little cardboard unit carton, which I like. It's got a nice weight to it. Uh, it's not uh, it's not round. Uh, it's kind of round with flat bits, if that makes any sense. So yeah, no, that feel, feels really nice. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to give this uh, a, a try. Uh, because my other ones, uh, what problem I have is if the, uh, if the handles are too short, I, I tend to use my uh, little uh, finger to do a lot of manoeuvring around with and it ends up making my hands sore after a while. So I always like a, a longer uh, crochet hook, uh, but I can't use the regular pony hooks because they just, oh, they just hurt my hands, so I can't do it. So. It looks like it's got a really nice uh, feel to it. I'm not going to do any crocheting with this hook. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, that looks really nice. Looks like it's going to glide really well as, uh, also. So, yeah, I can't wait to try that. So, that's all I have for everybody today. Uh, just a short and sweet little video. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on... Uh, what kind of projects I could do with uh, what yarn I've just shown you in here. Leave me uh, a comment down below uh, and I will, I will see what I can do. Also, if there's any little uh, tutorials, what anyone might like to see me do, uh, or ones what you can't quite find, again, let me know in comments uh, below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am on Instagram uh, as uh, Crochet Kyle. Uh, so if anybody makes any projects uh, of mine, I'd love to see them. So uh, add me onto Instagram, get tagging your projects away, uh, so uh, I can see them. I'd love to. Uh, so yeah, that's all I have, all I have left for today. I'm gonna go. 
see what I can do with with some of these. Uh, should have a, a new tutorial coming out later on this week. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that one. So until next time, see ya! <laughs>